I've just managed to find time to squeeze an extra video in this week, although it is a very short one. Now, last time I did some short videos, I got a lot of complaints. People don't seem to like short videos. They'd rather have no video than a short video. So if you don't like this, let me know and I won't do any more like this. However, I'm just going to spend the next two minutes talking about uh, things you can do for wall art. You see these things over here? People are always going on about these. Um, the uh, person on the left is a fembot out of the Six Million Dollar Man slash Bionic Woman. Uh, I think that was out of the episode Kill Oscar, which was a crossover between the two series but people often ask me what's that on the wall and I, it's just something that really creeped me out as a kid so therefore obviously I have to put it up on the wall just to remind you of that for some reason um that was a picture off ebay now the thing next to it obviously back to the future everyone goes on about that oh what's that back to the future poster you got well it's not a poster it's a laser disc it's the japanese laser disc and the reason i got this one is i like the typography it's the familiar uh, back to the future logo but done in japanese writing it just uh, makes it a little bit more interesting I think. So the rest of this video is on that theme. I'm going to show you something, uh, how you can do it, put it together very quick. It won't take much of your time and if you don't want to watch this then press stop now and then you won't have to watch this short video. So if you're still here, let's get going. Well that guy looks a lot older than I remember but anyway this one is about Tron. I saw this Tron Laserdisc on eBay and of course there are different Tron covers on Laserdiscs and albums and posters and things but for some reason this particular one just seemed to stand out to me. I, I like the again it's a Japanese one it's got really bright colours on a, a black background that blue thing on the left there that's an Obi strip apparently collectors insist on having those with their Laserdiscs if it's missing it it's like a big deal but there you go it's isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a gorgeous piece of art? Not something you could go and buy in a poster, I don't suppose, and even if you could, who cares? This one is on a laser disc, and guess what? I'm going to be putting this one back on the wall. Oh, look, there's David Warner, and uh, just look at that beautiful colours on that. Now, of course, I'm not going to play this laser disc, even though I could, because I've got Tron in a nice HD Blu ray version. No point going back to this, but if I ever wanted to, it's there. I don't know why that would happen though. No, what I'm going to do, of course, it's going to go in a frame again. This time I've got a different kind of frame. The reason being this one lets you swap out the thing that you've put in it pretty easily. Now, of course, these are designed for albums, but Laserdisc sleeves are the exact same size as an album. So if you like a film rather than an album, get a laser disc, put it in a frame. Now I've took it out of the box and a couple of little rubber bits have fallen off the back here. I don't know if this is old stock, but glue on those seems to have dried up. So just quickly put a bit of Gorilla Glue on there and stick those down. Those are sort of rubber pads to push against the wall so the thing doesn't move around and also doesn't scratch on your wall. So what you do is here, you lift it up a little bit and it tilts out and that's where you'd pull your album out. And uh, I'll just show you standing up here. So up and then down like that. And then you slot to your album art, sorry, album itself, I should say, in from the top. Very simple little thing. I say it's a very quick video, this one. The front will come off completely, which you need to do to mount it on the wall. There's one hole in the top there, and it comes with the appropriate mounting screws, as you can see here. There's a little washer that stays on the inside. So just mark a hole on the wall, drill the hole, six millimeter, um, put your little plug in there, put the plastic frame back on the wall and screw it to the wall. Simple as that. Now it is just one screw on there so it could be sort of swiveled around a bit so you might want to sort of put some tack type stuff behind to hold it to the wall but you just get your laser disc or album whatever you want, stick it in there, pop it in like that and if I want to swap that out in the future because it gets a little bit old I'm a bit bored with it very easy now just to stick a different laser disc in there so if you want to get hold of a film that you really like the look of obviously laser discs on eBay there's loads of them there if you want this particular frame it costs more than the ones that you don't change easily but I've got links to that it's on Amazon in the UK and the US but that's it for the moment as always thanks for watching